it up a little bit. Good. Um, if I give you press, no one no, 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 is this hard. Yeah, we went over and back down. Uh, the hinge we're going to learn is, um, we're going to learn over here. We're going to do also a single leg right. ladder. We can see a problem here. Similarities. How much higher is this guy? Similarities are going to be mostly around. We're going to do a lot more work there. We're going to do a lot more work there. Right? All that stuff is the same. We're going to be going over the tunnel a little bit. Then we come to the deadline. That stays the same. The big difference is that we're asking to swap the pattern. This is a very unique option. It's going to be a very tough right. It's going to be a very tough right. It's going to be a very tough right. So, I'm going to do something to fix this. With one foot on the wall, one foot forward. So, I put this on the wall, it's slightly back behind the way this is broken. So, we're going to take our lead leg, this will be our trail leg, and our trail leg is just behind the five legs. There you go. So, what you weren't doing is you weren't using your shoulder blade properly. So, you kind of have to work with the top side. A little easier. A little easier. Yeah, so. So oh, what you have, for you it was a lot of more control, right? You and then what didn't properly rotate so the, the right shoulder blades down. down. Then you can make sure over trap. You just share it. Now you're able to. Right. Right. That's much better. Well, right. right? Yep. 90 degrees. Good. Just the 90. That's much better. And not that's back down. So this is a practice. This is more control practice. Come up. Squeeze Up. And here. Good. Turn up. And as you turn up, bring that shoulder blade with you. Because if the shoulder blade doesn't move, that shoulder can't go anywhere. It's locked, right? It's straight up there. And back down. Good. Yeah, and you can take reps in between where you kind of practice bringing it in, packing it down, rotating it up, and letting that shoulder blade follow. Good. Keep that up a little higher. You can see kind of moving right Good. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Um, back down. Okay. Nice. So I have now we're going to activate all this. Okay. And I'm going to have you lift the elbow up off the bed. Just elbow. Just elbow. Right. Good. Right. Good. So you want elbow. You want hand over there. That's good. There you go. Good. Good. Back down. Is that hard? Yeah. Back down. So that's. This is one way you want to work on your control and you finding that position where your shoulder blade needs to be to make this easier for you. Because if you're pretty in tune with your body, you're going to figure out a way to do that right there and not pick it up. Is that easier than the first rep? Yeah. Yeah. And the reason it was easier than the first rep is because of scapula. Because you position your shoulder blade out of this pitched forward, shitty starting position. So to get it back, back and down, so I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, if you're if you don't position your shoulder blade where it needs to be, your shoulder can't go anywhere. So shoulder stability and mobility comes from understanding how to move your shoulder blade. If you can't move your shoulder blade properly, you should not find anything like that. So uh, now what I want you to do is I want you to just keep the elbow down and then go here. Bring this a little bit lower. And then just lift up the rest. And you never need to ask for a break. I think you want to just take an arrow. Let me know. Let's work, huh? Good, and back down. Cool. Keep working that. Um, explore your explore your shoulders. See if retracting makes it harder and easier. See if just pitching forward and letting it rest allows you to do it. Yeah. yeah. See. Grab your eyes from here. I can get as far now. I can't really move. Yeah, I can just yeah. move my wrist. Basically. Yeah, you're just moving your wrist, you're not coming out. So you have to acknowledge your shoulder blade chasing your shoulder. So this is a really good drill for you. There you go. To work on that. Shoulder understanding. All right, well, shoulder scapular uh, positioning and control. Good. Probably burning up over here. Yeah. Yeah, take a break.